Hello, hello. I am Sister Katie Miller and so thankful I am a part of the Massey Ministry team and we're so grateful for everyone that have come to to um, bring the VPS for this week. Thanking God for a water of eternal life, Sister Pauline and all of her team that have come and of course here set at Oak Shalom Ministry. For this fourth day, we have seen the influx of all of the kids that have been so excited in coming to learn, to play games, to do arts and crafts. It's just an outpouring to see the love and excitement that they have. Um, tomorrow is Friday, the ending of, of our program. But even so, we know that each teacher, each one that have come to pour into our kids, that an impact has been left upon their lives. And even the mothers, um, we've even had um, mothers that the children aren't in school. They have come to connect, to uh, try to enroll their children at Oak Shalom in their school. So it's been beneficial of VPS and we're looking forward for it to continue next year, the year after that, with all of our team that have come Hi, together. Everyone. My name is Dokas Kawila and I am at VBS. We are having fun, uh, the one, the two, the three, and we'll be winding up tomorrow. So my experiences, I've learned so much from the kids. As the saying goes, we just don't learn from elders but we learn a lot from kids i've gotten experience on uh, kids behaviors and what they do having fun everything is just awesome so if you haven't been here you haven't made your way here and you haven't brought your children yet here if you're watching me or your parent please 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 you can still bring them we're still on for tomorrow greetings fellow saints this is jerry warren with lifewalk mission international based in Atlanta, Georgia. I am here in the beautiful country of Zambia, working along with Oak Shalom Church and Massey Ministries. We have had a wonderful time these past few days teaching the children the Word of God. We know that Jesus is holy. Jesus is trustworthy. Jesus is worth following. And we want to share that great message to the children of Oak Shalom community and the surrounding area just outside of Lusaka. We'll be here for another few more days to love on the children and we encourage you today to continue supporting us as we reach the lost and teach to found. Thank you for listening to this recorded message. In the mighty wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my name is uh, Grace Namkonda or Pastor Grace. Yeah, um, I just wanted to give a quick, uh, quick feedback concerning the program that we have um, for VBS, empowering the children, empowering the, their lives, and also uh, empowering the community. It has really been uh, great looking at children. You know, sometimes we underestimate the children thinking that they cannot understand like what we are telling them, more especially teaching them the word of God. But trust me, more especially this age whereby they listen and they imitate, they hear and they repeat whatever that we tell them. It's so amazing looking at how children are, you know, understanding the word of God, applying it and also helping other friends in the community to just go with a fear, knowing God and also being obedient and the like. So we just want to say thank you and also to the people that are have been uh, in the forefront of supporting this program to make sure that everything is in place. We just want to say thank you so much. May you continue with the same work. God bless you. My name is Jessica Hightower. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I came to Lusaka, Zambia with Massey Ministries and Life Walk Ministries to teach Vacation Bible School to the kids and the community to be able
able to spend time with them, enjoy them, have fun with them. Uh, my expectation was just to come and just serve. And since I've been here, I've been blessed. Um, I've been served myself. Uh, God is moving so much in just this little area and just this little week that he's just showing up, showing out, giving us, uh, giving us a new aspect on life, uh, giving us a new grace and compassion. For those that are around us. Oh, thank you very much. My name is uh, Jean Mlesu. I'm part of uh, what God is doing here in um, Nine Miles. You know, the Bible says train a child in the way they should grow, and when they grow, they will never depart from that. And that's what we are doing. We are helping our kids. You know, in our language in Bemba, we say imiti kula empanga. So we are trying our best to just do what the Lord has told us to do in the Bible. We are helping the kids from 3 years to 15 years and we are impacting the knowledge of Christ in them. And we've seen a tremendous um, and overwhelming number. The number is just, it keeps on growing from Monday to today. Today is the fourth day and we've seen the, the the hand of God upon this place. We are very very grateful to Mercy Ministry. Thank you. Hello everybody. My name is Morna, and uh, this is my first missions trip ever. I'm so excited to have come to Zambia to Mercy Ministries Life Walk. I'm so excited. It has been a fabulous experience for me. My first mission trip ever. I had an opportunity to work. For Mass Ministries, the BBS program that they started for the very, very first time. I'm so honored. It was wonderful to see the children. They were really excited about learning the Word of God. And we were able to teach songs and memory verses and introduce them to different wonderful people in the Word of God, especially Jesus. So we gave them opportunity to give their hearts to the Lord and we're excited to see what God is going to do in their lives and the lives of their family. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Evangelist Mark and Evangelist Tish Young. Thank you both for hosting, allowing me to come, and being a part of Nasty Ministry BBS. Thank you, Pastor Teddy, as well as Life Walk, Brother Jerry, and the entire Nasty Ministry team. We love you, we thank you all, and God bless you. And God bless Oak Shalom and the BBS program. Hi everyone, my name is Miriam. Yeah, I'm super excited of what the Lord is doing in our BBS. We've never had such in Zambia. It's our first time and you'd see the heart of the kids. They are willing to learn. It's been an amazing journey with them. And uh, I've been, I personally have been ministering, I've been ministered to whilst we are teaching the children and God is ministering to me. Just hearing the heart of the children, the topics that we are teaching the kids, it's so amazing. I'm super excited for what the Lord is doing in the nation of Zambia. And thank you so much to our partners. Thank you for the people that have come on board. And thank you for introducing BBS in Zambia. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nelly. Um, BBS um, well, has been really, really good, and this has been like day three of the of BBS, and the experience has been awesome. The children are having fun, and being the first of its kind, it's really, really been an amazing life. I've been touched, children have been transformed, children are learning through games, a whole lot of activities, and uh, it's been an awesome experience for today. This is as follows Pauline Mutinta Chico, Zambian. Yeah, I'm so grateful for this program that has come to our community in Nine Miles, Mongole. We are so grateful for Mark and Tishi for this program and it is our prayer that please, we need such programs because we've seen even the kids that have come here for the past four days, 
the transformation that we are seeing in the lives of the kids and it is our prayer that these children will continue being the light in our communities where we are coming from because nowadays especially for teens we've seen what it happens with them but through VBS we are believing that we are going to build a better society and it is our prayer as well to bring more leaders that can be trained for such programs because even kids sometimes they're forgotten thinking that they're just kids but we are forgetting that they're the future leaders so thank you for evangelist Mike Tishi and the team for coming on board and bringing such kind of programs and it is our prayer that may we have more of them god bless you and god bless the team that was on the ground uh, this is at nan maos at york shalom uh, in conjunction with the mass ministry we are doing the vbs this is a program for the children we are training the children uh, on the bible as well as also uh, some few skills in academics and a lot of entertainment and skill, uh, and funny, uh, a lot of dancing. So it has been a very wonderful experience. And from the day one that we started uh, on Monday and today is Thursday, we have seen the number is growing daily. Uh, and um, it has been awesome. It has been a, a, a great excitement time that we have had with the children uh, from four years to 19 years. So they're in different classes with a great experience with the teachers and so wholesome experience. The children are excited and equally even their parents are so happy to see what is happening. So we love this VBS and would want it to continue. Thank you so much. Fifth God day bless. of Vacation Bible School in Zambia. Every day we get more and more children. First day was about 80. Today it's close to 200. A lot of children are off school today, so they are here today. But it's very noisy and happy and joyful. And they're enjoying hearing God's word. They're enjoying dancing. They're enjoying playing. They're enjoying just being here and have somebody caring about them and loving on them. We give them breakfast. We give them lunch so that they uh, have food to eat for the day. And we just thank God for the opportunity to share with them who Jesus is, and that he loves them. And they're just really excited about being here. And I'm excited to be here with them. And uh, my old body still is able to keep doing what God calls me to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, I'm Evangelist Tish with Massey Ministries. We're here in Zambia doing VBS Zambia. And I just wanted to say, my experience so far, starting with day one, it was very exciting to see the children come and just to see how many came on the first day. We got about 80 children on the first day. So we were expecting more, but I thank God for the ones that came because he knew who needed to come. Day two, our numbers increased. Then our food, we got a little shortage, but we're able to rent out, grab some extra things, and still be able to feed the kids. But what I really love about these children, they are so well behaved. They are so eager to learn. Their hearts is open to the gospel. That's why God said, we need to come to him as the little children do. And these children come with open hearts. They're willing to learn and they're so trusting. Those are the things that have really impacted me during this time. So now with day three and four, I'm excited because even more children have come and even more lives will be impacted. Can you imagine? Just think about these children who are not able to go to school, but who are getting the gospel now that they will be able to share the gospel later. You would, couldn't even imagine how that will affect their lives. So come alongside Massey Ministries and help us to uplift, edify, and encourage these young people so that they can go out and share the gospel and make disciples that make disciples. This is Evangelist Mark Young, the one that the Lord has leading Massey Ministries here in Zambia as well as in the U.S. But I want to talk about VBS Zambia for Massey Ministries 2024. I have to say, it has really truly met my expectations. Actually, it went above and beyond my expectations. Day one, our setup was a little bit edgy because we was really learning how to do this without the facilities. You know, back in the U.S., we had the facilities, but here, 
the facilities are up and coming. They're, you know, they're growing every day. So it was a little challenging in the first day, but second day it got better, even with the students. I mean, we went from 80 something, almost 80 kids to 112, 111 the next day. And now we're at day four up to 150, close to 200 kids. Because yesterday I think it was 150. But trust me, like I want to really take two points. One point is I'm so blessed to see how the kids are really being so behaved and receiving and learning what the Lord has for them. You know, day one it was, you know, God or Jesus is holy. Day two, Jesus is trustworthy. Day three, Jesus is um, forgiving. And then today, Jesus is worth following. So the kids are really, really learning. Point two is I really want to take place and that give us great observations. The people that are serving, from the ones who are doing the teachers, all the way down to the young people, as our youth, or they were called, we call young adult, but they call them college students. We call them college students, they call them youth. But I like to say those students, I mean, helped us put up the boards to, to break out the class sessions, slept here overnight, our dance team, making sure the facilities are clean, making sure the trash is taken out. And these people are serving the kingdom. These young people are serving the kingdom, even teaching and running with the games. So one, the kids are so blessed and so overwhelmingly behaving, but also learning, they're, they're, in, they're taking it in. And then for our teachers and our young adults, the college students, I'm, oh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm blown away what God is doing. So, hey, here at VBS, this is our first time, but definitely not our last time. And what we're looking for is next year, April 2025, to bring at least two teams here that they can really be a blessing to the community of Lusaka, Zambia. Other than that, I know God is in control because we live in a controlled environment. And we say God bless you.